We have recently published a clinical study in the American Journal of Human Genetics where the clinical outcomes of apparently mosaic embryos and PGTA cycles were investigated by using a prospective non-selection trial design. The main advantage of using this investigative approach as compared to retrospective data analysis lies in the minimization of the population selection biases. In fact, in our study, the genetic findings consistent with mosaicism in embryos were masked to the physician and patients, avoid any kind of influence on embryo selection and allow an unbiased comparison among the PGTA categories, namely the uniformly euploid embryos and the mosaic embryos, up to 50% of predicted abnormal cells. From this trial, we could thus gather robust evidence about the reproductive potential of putative mosaic cameras in PGTA cycles. In particular, the primary endpoint for this analysis was the non inferiority live birth rate when deployed and mosaic embryos were compared. These double blinded multi center prospective clinical trials involved 1,603 IVF cycles uh, and 1,000 and uh, 190 couples that were recruited from the five different IVF clinics in Italy. When comparing the outcomes of embryo transfers, we observed an equivalent live birth rate and miscarriage rate across uh, 484 euploid and 413 low or medium grade mosaic embryos. Furthermore, we investigated a subset of newborn saliv saliva DNA samples to check for the presence of any a potential chromosomal abnormality that is compatible with mosaicism in embryos, in collaboration with our colleagues from the Center for Chromosome Stability, Copenhagen University, directed by Eva Hoffman. In this phase of the study, no instances of mosaicism or uniparental disomies were detected in the ensuing pregnancies or newborns obtained following putative mosaic embryo transfers and also of pediatric and neonatal outcomes were similar between the study groups. So this trial uh, provided compelling evidence that mosaic embryos have similar reproductive potential as and same gestational risk as euploid ones and should be equally considered for embryo transfer. From a clinical perspective, our data will help increasing the clinical utilization of embryos designated as putative mosaics in PGTA cycles and help many more couples achieving their reproductive goal. From a biological standpoint, our results support the hypothesis that abnormal cells in mosaic embryos are highly localized to a small trophetodon region and do not prevent subsequent normal embryonic or fetal development to third as they may be lost or localized to less functional placenta regions. In conclusion, deselecting or discarding these allegedly mosaic embryos shouldn't be recommended based on the actual evidence. And in the light of our experience, we encourage the preliminary use of data from non-selection trial before uh, incorporating new PGTA algorithms and aneuploid classification criteria in the routine practice of PGTA. Thank you.